Well, hello, Maverick traders. Let's get into TradingView as a simulator trader. TradingView is a standalone platform by itself. Some of you guys have probably been using it. First off, just type in TradingView into your Google search, and I'll just start from the very beginning. Now, this software has a whole lot to offer if you do want to pay for it and use it for its full capability. You can see up here to the right that I actually just did a little temporary um, set up and it's just basically your your email username and kind of a password and uh, it gives you some really good stuff for free now what we're gonna use specifically is on the chart so if you just go to products here we go to chart and it's going to send you over to a chart now it's just like any other chart that you might find it's up here to the left it defaults to the day I believe but you got weekly monthly hourly whatever time frame you want to choose now for this video it's specific to using its replay ability as a simulator uh, trading platform, kind of a, a way to test our market master's trades, our bull pullbacks, high bases, range bounds, all of that stuff. So I'll keep it on a day. I've, ch I've selected the SPY chart, but you could click over here and you could choose anything you want, uh, whatever you think is going to be kind of fun. Now understand this isn't going to be something that's kind of blind this is some, you're going to choose a timeline you're going to choose a point in time and move forward from there but the way once you do choose that the way that this replay works is kind of nice because you won't be able to see what uh, comes next now the first thing i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and grab this and move it over and i just like to shrink that away that's basically uh, all sorts of different things you can have set up as far as watch lists alerts alarms stuff like that i just like to, a, a bigger screen here now what I'm going to focus on specifically is right up here. It is called the replay. Uh, it's a bar replay. Now I can go ahead and select this and when I do select this it's going to give me these little scissors on my cursor and what it's going to do is it's going to cut at that point and move forward. So what you're probably going to want to do is make sure you go back quite a bit to give yourself a whole lot of different types of patterns and moves and things of that nature so you can make trades. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, click off of that replay. A couple quick ways to navigate. Always in the price margin over here to the right. If I left click hold and I drag up and down, it can increase or decrease the candle size or just kind of squish down my price range. I could do the exact same thing down here at the bottom with my timeline, except it's left and right. Left click hold, drag to the left, and it zooms into the time, or I can drag to the right and it zooms out. One thing that I do like is you can do this during the replay session. If I'm just in the middle of my chart here, I left click and hold and I can drag it over. And this is probably where you're going to want to start uh, in a situation to where you want to just drag down. A couple of weeks. This looks like a pretty interesting run right here, or uh, I should say a few months is what I've been dragging. So I'm just going to start kind of in this area here. So I'm just going to hit that replay. It's going to give me that cursor drop with the scissors on it. I'm just going to drop it anywhere that I want to. Now what, I, what it does is it'll zoom that as the front day. Now what we can do here, let's say, oh, you know, for some reason these candlesticks are too small. Well, let's just go back to our uh, margin down here to the bottom left and I'll just drag it over and then let's go to the price margin over here to the right and I'll click and drag it up and I can zoom in a little bit and if I really want to I can grab the chart and kind of move it around you could do anything you want with this it's just really nice so once you get into um, a place that you're comfortable with that you want to watch we can we can begin this replay Real quick, I'm going to go down here and show you that if you get lost with this manually stretching and you don't like anything down here at the bottom, this is auto. You hit this button and it'll snap right back to where it just kind of fits uh, what you're trying to achieve. So if you really lose it, you can hit that auto. Obviously, you can see there's a sell buy button. Now, this is going to be a very raw type of simulator. We're going to use this for a very, a very basic get in, get out. What I like about it is now we can decide where our targets are and where we want to put it, put stops uh, visually. So let's take uh, let's go ahead and show you what this replay can do. Now down here at the bottom, since I hit the replay button, you will notice that I've got a little bit of a field here. Looks like I've got the ability to jump backwards. I can go all the way to the front candle. 
this is the speed that I can play this back. And yes, folks, once I hit this play button, this will go candle to candle to candle. And this time is one candle per second. I can increase it to three, two, two by a second, 10 by a second. I could slow it down. Or if I click on the button next to it here, I should say this button here, I can move them forward one click at a time. So this is the play button, which will do it automatically. This button here is one click, which would go advance one candle at a time. I'm going to do a combination of both just so you guys can see uh, how, how this works out. So first off, we want to identify a pattern. If you guys have gone through the Market Masters classes, you'll see that there might be a little bit of a bullish retracement about to happen here. So I'm just going to go click on the manual move forward button and see if that happens. It looks like we're moving a little bit higher. Okay. Let's jump to a different pattern. Now, this is what I like to do when it comes to identifying these patterns. It's always best to go through the Market Masters courses and find and, and take all of the different types of patterns. That way, when you come to a program like this, you can look for them all at once. So what I have here is an ascending triangle pattern. What I've done is I've gone over to this left margin, just click once to get a line, click once to draw uh, to start the line, drag it up, click it again to drop it. This is very easy stuff if you guys have any sort of charting software, it's very similar. But what's neat about this is now I have this line drawn and I can realize, hey, this is an ascending triangle pattern. If it breaks out to the upside, it might be something I want to purchase. So let me click another day or two. There we go. Okay. So you can see now we've jumped out of this pattern. We have uh, popped out of this ascending triangle that I uh, established. Let me go ahead and shrink this margin. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Drag the chart down, actually. What I should do is drag the chart down. I'm just manipulating this uh, to where I like to see it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead down here and hit the buy button. Now, I need you guys to understand is something. This buy is just an entry. It just says buy one. And one what? One contract, 100 shares. It doesn't matter. The idea behind using this as a simulator is just to get used to entry, enter, entering and exiting based on the pattern itself. I do not care about the position size. I do not care about the vehicle or the strategy you're using. This is basically in and out. That's what I do like about how simple this is. Now, what you can do, since I'm already in, if I wanted to go ahead and erase these lines, you just click on them and hit the erase button, knowing that I am in this position. And this will stay here until you exit the position. Two ways to do it. You can hit the sell button or you can hit flatten and flatten will also close the position. That way, if you sell short and you're not sure you need to buy back, you just hit flatten and that will exit. So I am in this position, but there's a couple things I might want to add. So I'm just going to go back to the simple line. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to where a potential stop it might be. And then basically, if you wanted to use a Fibonacci sequence on this and see where you, where you could possibly target, you have that ability over here as well. I'm not sure if I just selected it. Mm -hmm. I did, but I drew it upside down. So let me uh, go ahead and redraw that. Um, Let's go over here and what you just play with this, draw this down. There we go. And you can see that I've got from this last run, my Fibonacci extension was about uh, right up in here. So I'll just go ahead to my handy dandy line and go ahead and draw up here. Now you notice that I'm combining a few classes that you guys have already done with using this as a simulator. So let's keep going forward and see where this ends up. This time, I'm just going to hit the play button. And you guys can see that this will add candlesticks. Here it goes. Every second, it'll just add a candlestick. Now, I'm just going to go until, oh, it looks like it stopped me out. OK, so it looked like it stopped me out at that point. Um, let's go a little bit further uh, and see if it actually continues higher. And that's one reason why I do like to do this candle by candle is because you can stop it and hit the exit button. OK, so it looks like it's working. Oh, we're almost at the fib. Okay, there it is. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit flatten. And that will get me a sellout at the top part. Now notice, guys, I missed this by a candle. And that is the drawback of the play button. It is sometimes better to actually hit the uh, forward advance by yourself manually. Take a look at it. You can rechart it. All sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so I should have been stopped out back at this candle. We let it go a little bit. Looks like I took this profit here. Now, what I love about this is it books your profit down here. I made $5.66 in my entry point to my exit point. It doesn't matter 
per share. It doesn't matter what contracts, just you got in and you got out and you're positive. Now let me go ahead and erase all these lines and we'll take a look to see if there's going to be another setup here. Just manually clicking, closing. It's pretty easy to do. You could probably do it faster if you hit the, the uh, delete key, but I'm just going to do it nice and slow. Now this will stay. As long as I don't go to this replay and reset it and just continue along, this trade will stay and so will the total. So let's go ahead and move forward. I'm going to manually click here and see if we can find ourselves another pattern that develops. Oh, it looks like a bull pullback. Let's play this bull pullback here. Let me analyze it with you real quick. I don't want to spend too much time. I just want to get you guys a, an easy way to navigate this. Okay, let's do a very simple one. It's confirmed to the upside, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. But I want to have a, let's do a short-term target back up to resistance there and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and hit buy here. Then I'm going to advance the candlesticks a couple of days forward. Oh, there it is. That was a very quick one. I'm going to go ahead and hit flatten, or I could hit sell, and it will get the, out of the position. <clears throat> now, what it did is they can see that my orders here, this is where uh, I sold last time. This is where I bought, and this is where I sold. It takes that total and adds it into this running total. So what you can do with this, folks, is you can have your journal open on another page, and you could start putting these in separately. You could say this first one was a uh, ascending triangle breakout pattern or a breakout, and you got in, you got out, put the total down. Uh, here's one here where this is a bull pullback. We got in at this point. We got out. The total, what you can do with this is, is really easy, folks. We entered at 431.06, and we exit at 439.94. You take the difference. That's your gain. Um, and if it goes down, that's your loss. So the running total over the whole section or what we're doing here is down here at the bottom. But I would suggest setting these up, clicking the buttons once you get in, once you get out. If you get stopped out, you can put that in there. Journal these as you go. But it's a really nice mechanism uh, for simulator trading if the chart game isn't up. Don't worry about the position size. Uh, get out there and just play with us. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.